what's up and welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with another Halloween makeup tutorial and it's going to be on this crack skull that you see here and let's jump right into the tutorial. I do want to mention very briefly that I am going to be doing the um, eye makeup tutorial and then also the skull makeup tutorial obviously um, but if you want to skip out on the eye makeup and go straight to the skull and see how I created that I'll go ahead and put the time on the screen somewhere so you could just pass through this makeup tutorial and go straight to the skull. And the eyeshadow palette that I'm using today is the Morphe 35O palette. However, you could use whatever palette you have at home, whatever colors that you want. I just wanted something with more warm tones. So of course, I always reach my Morphe 35O. Always comes through for me. But you could use whatever warm tone shadows you have. Just start with lightest going and then go darker because that's going to help with the blending process. It's going to make it look very seamlessly blended and it's going to look amazing. So make sure that you take your time with it and always blend everything out. And then when you get into the darker colors, you want to focus the darker colors on the lower part of the crease because again, that's just going to make it look more gradient and like an ombre effect. So with whatever angled um, angled brush that you have, I'm taking a brown eyeshadow and just, just carving out the crease a little bit. And then once I have it to the shape that I want, I'll go ahead and start adding different shades of dark browns and um, a little bit of black to further intensify the crease. And now I'm taking a concealer and I'm just cleaning up the crease a little bit, making it nice and sharp. And yeah, um, you can use any concealer you want. When I do cut creases, I feel like they don't look good until I do this step. So if before you hit this step, when you're doing your cut crease, you're starting to feel a little discouraged because it's looking a little blotchy or everything's looking out of place, please keep going, girl. Just push through that because I promise it's going to turn out absolutely stunning in the end. And just to make my crease pop a little more, I'm adding more black just on the winged out part of the crease. And then giving it a good blend. And I'm putting a nude um, eyeshadow all over my lid because I didn't want to put glitter since we're going to be doing that for the liner. So I just put a nude shade that matches my skin tone. And here I'm just doing a very extended wing liner. I already do have a how to do wing eyeliner um, video on my channel if you want to go ahead and check that out. However, I did change it a little bit how I apply it. So if you want to see an updated one, please let me know. And then I'm taking Sephora Glitter Glue and I'm first patting it down gently all over the liner. And then I'm going in with NYX Face and Body Glitter in Bronze. And I'm applying that all over the wing. And then um, slowly blending it out until the center of the crease. And then it's going to go from the glitter all the way to the more... Um, cat eye intensified inner corner so that's what I'm doing here I really wanted my eyes to pop uh, you know next to the skull and all that craziness we're gonna get into so I really wanted to add the glitter and that inner corner because I thought it was really gonna make a difference and it did and then for your lash line do whatever you did on the crease to the bottom lash line you already know and then pop on your favorite lashes And then to hide the lash band a little bit, you want to go over it with some black liner. I'm using a liquid liner, it's just easier. Okay, and then for the skull, um, I'm going in with the thinnest layer of white face paint. And I'm going to blend this out with a beauty blender all over my face. And then I'm also going to drag the paint on my neck and on my chest. And then blend that out as well with the beauty blender. Okay, so for the bones in the neck, I don't know the correct term for it, um, but those bones that you see right there in your neck, I'm just drawing those out by drawing, um, drawing two straight lines down first and then making little lines in between to make these square shapes, but they were a little too square for me, so I'm kind of taking whatever um, leftover product I have on the blush, um, sorry, on the blush, on the brush, um, to kind of blend that out a little bit and make them look a little bit more rounded. And then to carve out my collarbone, I'm doing the same exact thing. I'm just taking a light brown eyeshadow and carving everything out first. And then I'll go in with darker shades of brown. And then lastly, go in with black just to make it look more intense. So if you move your head around to these weird shapes, it makes your neck bones pop out. 
um, I discovered that so I used that to my advantage to really um, draw the right placement that way they would be symmetrical and then taking a kind of fluffy brush I'm gonna start blending that color down that's gonna make that shadow look like it's casting over and it's just gonna make that look more three-dimensional and pop out a little bit so I'm doing that to this side first and then just further deepening it with darker shades of brown and then I'm leaving the space above that little sinkhole in your collarbone I'm leaving that completely blank because we're gonna highlight um, highlight that later and it's just gonna make it look more three-dimensional that way and now if you like like I told you if you move your body around these weird positions it makes your bones pop out so I was doing that to fill in that little circle crater thing you have right there in between your collarbone so that's what I went ahead and did there and then I'm taking the black eyeshadow like I said and I'm starting to make more of a shadow because if you were looking from the top down the light would be hitting you and this is where the shadow would be casting and to be honest painting on your neck is really hard um, I found it quite difficult but once you do one side it makes it pretty easy to do the other and then on those parts that I left blank on the shoulders I just um, filled it in with a, a very like light tan white eyeshadow to just make it look like it's highlighted and then doing what I did to the sides of my neck I'm doing also down the middle next to those little boxes or your bones um, and I'm just um, adding more shadow to those and adding a dark brown and a black shadow underneath my chin so it kind of looks like my head is kind of floating on those bones right there if that makes sense and then to make the collarbone pop out a little bit I'm just adding a white highlight and now let's fix the shirt fix the babies are we ready all right let's rumble <laughs> So now I'm just setting or putting an extra layer of white um, eyeshadow all over my face just to make it look a little bit more pale. And I kind of was jumping around with how I was applying everything. So first I'm starting off with my nose. You can do whatever shape you want. You just really want to make that look hollowed out. So I went ahead and made this like Hershey Kiss shape and even filled it in with a dark chocolate brown. And then I'm um, going to black out my nostrils so those look like they're missing and start dragging that um, black eyeshadow upwards and since we're doing a crack skull I'm just adding a few cracks on my nose so for the eye I just want to do the basic dark circle so I'm going in with the light brown shadow first just to carve out the eye and then I'll go ahead um, go ahead and go in with more darker browns and then also black just to further intensify and I'm gonna leave the center on my lid the brown color that we're applying now because I want it to match and look symmetrical with my cut crease and like I said before you could totally do whatever colors you want so if you don't want to do these neutral brown colors like I'm doing for my skull swap it out do the same technique but just swap out the colors and it'll look fine it'll look just like it just different colors you know so do whatever floats your boat i don't judge and then give everything a nice blend all right i had to put my hair back so i could do my cheekbones and my teeth so i'm going very basic with my cheekbones as well so i'm just drawing this line going underneath my cheekbone down to my jawline and dragging it down and then blending all of that going downwards as well kind of like we were doing with the neck we want to have that shadow casting downwards it's going to make everything look more hollow so do that with different shades of brown and then lastly a little bit of black so for the mouth I wanted to keep that basic as well this is always the most difficult thing for me and I always use liquid liner so I did a different technique today and I used only eyeshadows to create the teeth and it was so much easier than the liner oh my goodness I don't know why I've never thought about it before so I took this very small and dense like angled brush I went to Walmart and got a pack of 10 actual paint brushes um, for like three bucks and they work amazing for this Halloween stuff and you also don't ruin your brushes So just a side note you might want to go pick those up. They have some good brushes in there um, But I'm just using this and I'm making little dome shapes 
and then once that's the shape that I want to I'm gonna kind of just blend them out a little bit so it looks like it's going into my skin and then I'm gonna add black to further intensify it and to give them their each individual little socket I guess and then um, overline again the center of my lips and where I extend it out onto my cheek it's a lot easier doing this with shadow as opposed to a liner because the shadow you can kind of just blend it out and you know it'll work in your favor with liner I don't know why I thought liner was ever a good idea it was always so hard to make a mistake because it would mess up everything if you had to take anything off so I recommend going in with shadows first and then if you really want to intense your teeth go in with the liquid liner just be very careful and then I'm just taking that same brush and kind of extending the teeth out a little bit making them a little more pointed like little houses And then I'm taking a white eyeshadow and just filling in the in-between spaces to make them look a little more brighter and to make them pop just a little bit. All right, and then I wanted to bring out um, the, my cheekbones a little bit over my um, over my teeth, so it looks as if the teeth are inside my mouth, kind of in a way. I didn't know how to. I don't really know how to explain that. Um, so I went ahead and just drew on those little lines and curved them out, going down towards my mouth. And then I'm going in with a black eyeshadow and I'm gonna start creating um, that defined and more um, blended uh, cheek. I guess I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know what to call it, guys. I guess I'm, I really am just doing what I did on the neck, um, on my cheek. It's a lot easier done than said, actually. You know how they always say it's more easy. It's easier said than done. In this case, it was easier doing it than explaining it. <laughs> but like I said, it's basically just different shades of browns, and then when you're ready to really intensify it. Um, go in with the black that's gonna make it look really hollow and you want to keep that closest to the initial line Because then it's just gonna make it look more deeper And now for the cracks and the outlining of my face I'm kind of doing the same thing that I did with my pop art zombie I'm leaving my eye area open and then everything else I'm outlining So I went ahead and started doing that and I kind of started to erase the lines a little bit Just so they would look a little bit more into the skin and then this is going to be the really big crack where the glass kind of shatters. So I drew this really black little piece that broke out of my face, I guess. And then I started making lines to look like it was shattered. And I'm just lining um, my forehead and just adding cracks basically anywhere. And then I added one more big crack with the missing piece out of it on my chin. And that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel before you leave, and I'll check you guys out in my next one. Bye.